I don't want to say anything crude today, so I'm not. Like, you know, uh, a male son of a dog. A male son of a female dog is a son of a bitch. Anyways, I want to talk about fathers. You want to be here without a father. I heard this joke, I guess, uh, take him to the Greek or something with Russell Brand. You know, he's not like my favorite character. He's kind of weird. My wife likes him. I don't know. But anyways, I guess there was a joke in that movie about, oh, my father didn't manage... Uh, my father managed me when I was in his ball sack, but as soon as I came out, he didn't manage me no more. I'm enjoying this cigar a little bit more than usual. But anyways, I just want to um, tell all the fathers out there, Keep up the good work. Just do the make the best out of your situation. You know, you got 18 years to influence your child, influence your son, influence your daughter. Sorry, got cigar, cigar tobacco in my my mouth. I'm just telling you all, all the fathers out there. One of the Ten Commandments is honor thy mother and father. Think about it. Honor thy mother and father. And it's like, it's give them the admiration. Just admire them for what they've done in your life. Man, they fed you. They made the best out of their situation. Because I know not all the parents out there are perfect. I mean, um, you might not have had a parent that would just ditch you out work because you were sick or because of, um, you know, what? It, well, maybe a mom would ditch out, but a, a, a father typically would go to work when the kid's sick, you know. Or, like my dad, he was in the National Guard. God rest his soul, by the way. He did die under some very um, mysterious circumstances. Yeah. He had PTSD. I don't know if you guys watched any of my other videos, but I explained about my dad's PTSD. I lost my train of thought because of my cigar. <coughs> I nailed it. <laughs> Try not to nail cigars. You're not supposed to. But anyways. My dad made the best out of his situation. And like what I was saying, too, is that my dad, he valued money. He valued it. He understand that hard work paid off. And that's kind of the work ethic that I have, too. You work hard, you, pay, you get paid for your hard work. And then it takes harder work to manage your money and use it properly. So, all I'm saying is that my dad made the best out of his situation. He, he had to serve on the National Guard for two weeks. But then he used his two-week vacation from one job to go do his National Guard thing 
So he got paid from vacation. He got his vacation pay. Then he used his vacation to go National Guard. So he was double dipping. He got paid twice. You know? So. He could have used his vacation to be with us, to be with his daughter and with his son, but that's not how he did it. But I do appreciate my dad. My dad gave me the confidence to work on cars. I don't get paid to work on cars because the fact of the matter is he told me he didn't want me to be a mechanic or a welder or anything that probably would be paying better than what I'm doing now. But I do love people and I do have a personality that I work with people and stuff like that, which is an honor and a privilege. I worked with assisted living. I've worked in an ambulance. I did stuff like that. I always thought that I would finance my dream, but that's not how it worked out. Because I work all the time. But anyways, I have cars and I do stuff with cars. I mean, that's, I mean, seriously, I spent a couple thousand bucks and I have like a couple cars. <sighs> anyways, I don't even have a car that works right now. So if anybody watching this wants to hook me up with a car that actually works and maybe less than 10 years old, <laughs> I know that's far-fetched. But at the topic that I'm talking about is father's. I would be a father. I would have maybe had another child, but the girl I was with at the time, supposedly she was pregnant with my kid, and she aborted the child. I begged her and I pleaded with her, don't do it. I don't know, maybe I didn't ple plead and beg enough, but gosh darn it, man. Abortion's freaking terrible, man. And, but I mean, what's terrible too is uh, having sex with someone that you're not married with. So, like, I'm saying, Father's Day is for everybody. Anybody could be a father, but it takes a separate person, a very special person, to be a dad. But anyways, yeah, I, I want you guys to check out my other videos and uh, just see. I did share about my dad, and my dad made the best out of the situation he was in. He may have had social pressure to be a dad. He may not have exactly wanted to be a father, you know? But it, I mean, under the circumstances, he fed us. You put a roof over our head. I mean, gosh, that's, man, that's pretty good. But he gave me the confidence to work on cars like I was saying. I remember working with him on a car. I don't know what job he was doing. Maybe brakes or something. I actually never got the confidence to do brakes. But I heard that's the most easiest job on the car. I mean, back in the day, you would have to bleed the brakes after you changed them because you they had brake shoes. Most of these cars now have disc brakes. But when I was working with my dad, my dad would be able to name off the tool, the socket, the box and wrench, whatever, he would be like, uh, I need a, a 5 eighths, I need a 9 sixteenths, I need um, one half. Just name them off, just by looking at the bolt. Man, that takes practice.
But about me, about being a dad, I'm a dad too. But I've been reckless and I've been very unthoughtful. My daughter lives far away from me. If she came and saw me on Father's Day, I'd be like, I'd probably fall over. My daughter has an unrealistic fear of Trump, like Trump is going to capture her, throw her in a cage or something. Dude, I don't know. I'm blaming Canada for that. Blame Canada, blame Canada. I don't know. There's a song. Isn't it on um, South Park? Anyways, I hope this um, day, this Father's Day, you just appreciate your dad. Admire them, respect them, that they need, honor them. You know, even if they weren't the best dad, they still deserve respect. Respect, love, admiration. Dude, no matter the circumstances, you know, it's just, it's just honor thy mother and father. Even though the Bible also says in Ephesians, fathers, do not provoke your child. My dad provoked me a couple times. Hey, you know what? That's, I can't hate him for that. So, again, happy Father's Day.